I often find that there's confusion on crossover cables and when to use crossover cables. So let's go over the different type of equipment there is out there and when to use a regular cable and when to use a crossover cable. When it comes to ethernet, there's two different types of equipment out there, MDI and MDIX. MDI stands for medium dependent interface and the X at the end just means that it's crossed over. So what I have here is I have two pieces of equipment. I have a computer which functions as an MDI and a switch which has an MDI X interfaces on it. So the MDI interfaces have pins one and two as the transmit and the receive is the three and six versus the MDI X interfaces have a one and two are the receive and uh, three and six are the transmit. So when you're connecting these two devices, when you have a, a straight through cable and you connect these, everything lines up correctly. So you don't have any problems. And so most of your equipment that's meant to connect together, and that is switches connecting into uh, in switches connecting into computers. Uh, in those cases, just a straight through cable is fine. The problem is, is when we start connecting MDI to MDI equipment, because now if we were to connect this MDI together with a straight through, then the transmits, they're both trying to transmit on the same line, but no one's listening. And they're trying to receive or listen on the same line, but no one's talking. And so this is a problem. So that's why we use a crossover cable. A crossover cable will take pins one and two and bring them to three and six and pins three and six to pins one and two. Now this computer right here that's talking on pins one and two is now receiving on pins three and six and vice versa. And then typically with crossover cables, there's a couple different types of crossover cables, but with our T568 A's and B's as crossover cables, then these are all going to be straight through lines from there. So this is when we're, we're connecting MDI to MDI equipment. Now let's take at what a network typically looks like. So we have all of these devices on the outside that plug into a switch. So all of these devices are MDI type connectors where the switch tends to be an MDI X type connector. And then we usually plug the router into a switch. So this then again, is typically an MDI. So whenever we're plugging an MDI into an MDI, we want a crossover cable. But if it's an MDI to MDI X, then we just want a, a, a straight through is fine. So all of these cables right here and this cable right here, it's fine as a uh, as a straight through cable. But if we were to connect these two devices together or these two devices together, then these would require a, a crossover cable to connect from the MDI to NDI equipment. Here's a table that might describe it in a little different way. Here we have MDI equipment, which would be the PCs and the routers and MDIX interfaces on the switches. So if I were to follow this through with this table, a switch plugged into a PC is a straight through and a switch plugged into a router is a straight through. Same thing, switch to PC is a straight through, switch to a router is a straight through. So there we see all of the straight through connectors. The rest of these connections though are like equipment. So this is MDI, MDI, MDI. So when we're connecting like equipment, we want crossover cables in that case. So a PC to PC is a crossover, PC to router, a crossover. So that's where we see these crossover cables. And then also a switch to switch is also a crossover. Now we can see switches that have both MDI and MDI X's on them. And there would be the, uh, so there, there are times when we run through where it's a switch to switch and you would still use a straight through to connect that if those are the MDI connectors or the uplink connectors. There is also such thing as an auto MDI MDIX. So let's say this switch right here 
is an auto MDI MDIX. And so when we connected whatever this device is over here into this switch on whatever port, then it would auto sense and either and then either change that port to be a MDI or MDIX to adjust to whatever equipment is on the other side. So a lot of our equipment now can actually auto adjust to this, making it even less likely that we have those crossover cables. Although every once in a while I'll do run into a case where I still have to use a crossover cable to connect two different pieces of equipment that, that are the same types of equipment. I hope these videos are really helping you out. If they are, I'd really appreciate you hitting that like button.